Welcome to The Daily Me, the place for insights into life and business. Hello, good morning. I hope you're doing really well. Well, it's at least morning where I am. In actual fact, last night we had some of the craziest weather for this time of year. Normally it's warming up, but uh, we had uh, thunder and lightning literally for eight hours straight. It was just amazing. But anyway, that's besides the point. Now on today's call, I want to talk about having a definite purpose. And the reason I got to thinking about this, no surprises here, is that I was listening to my audio book version of uh, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill when he talked about this very topic. And it got me to thinking about, you know, just the way he talked about it and my kids, in fact. But this can be applied to you and your business, your future. It doesn't matter where you are. If you want to change tack, change directions, you can certainly take away something from this call today, I feel. Um, and I I found myself thinking about my eldest, my eldest son, because he's just about to enter high school. And I'm very excited, you know, a little bit apprehensive for him, but I, I see and have a positive expectation for him um, during this next stage of his journey. And I'm very, very hopeful that uh, he, you know, doesn't waste it like many of us do. And I'm hoping that as his father, that I can give him some guidance that makes some sense, because I don't know about you, but I don't recall having too much um, guidance from my parents uh, necessarily. All I was doing was observing what people were doing and, you know, I was able to make my way. But I never had somebody say to me, look, what are you going to do? What do you, what would you like to do? I guess, I guess we do as young kids, you want to, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a fireman, you know, stuff like that. I want to be a nurse, all those traditional type roles. But I'm, I'm actually thinking more seriously now because if I recall back to my very first job, and in the book he talks about how about, you know, how this comes about for those who don't have definiteness of purpose, is that they just fall into a role. And the same happened for me. I fell into this role and it was a, a fencing role. I, I left school. I didn't really like school much. I didn't, I found it to be more of just of a social event than anything else. But I started to really learn about life when I left. But that's, that's besides the point. But I took the first job that I could get and it was in fencing. It was our, our neighbor. They owned a fencing company and my dad spoke to, this guy who owned this company and I started to work with him. And, you know, at the time I didn't know anything better. I was young. I was, uh, in impressionable. I was, um, you know, willing to learn and get involved and make some money. I tell you what, once I started getting paid, I, I suddenly realized, you know what? I like this money stuff, <laughs> but it didn't take me too long to realize I didn't like the work. The work was terribly difficult. I was, you know, oftentimes I'd be climbing up the side of hills trying to dig, um, using, uh, you know, digging devices into stone. It was, it was awful. Um, but I really just wanted him to take away, f uh, through the conversation I had this morning that instead of me allowing you as your dad, just to not have that definiteness of purpose, I want you to think about something that you would really love to do. And I don't want you to talk about your computer games. And I don't want you to talk about being an NBA all-star. You can have them on your list, but find yourself something that really interests you and start looking now. You know, uh, things have changed in high schools and colleges um, since I remember it. Um, because now, from what I understand of his new high school, they actually promote this. They say, what is your path? What would you like to do with your life? And I think very much in the same way, if you're a startup entrepreneur, you should be thinking about these things fairly seriously. You don't want to be going out and uh, creating a business that's uh, making up problems. You want to go out there and looking for things that you can solve or things that you really love and enjoy. I think, you know, there's a balance between making money and, and really enjoying what you're doing in life because you only get one shot at this. Life is not a dress rehearsal. You are on stage right now. So it's best that you don't waste any second of it. And the younger you are, the better off you're going to be with this because you have the opportunity right now to stop and think about what path do I want? What decisions do I want? If you want to be an employee, that's absolutely great. But if I'd only known what I wanted to do, say as an employee initially, I don't know that I would have chosen fencing, but I wouldn't, I would have also known how to find the job, find the business that had the job inside of it. 
I would have known how to approach the right people in that business and I wouldn't have let up until I found my way to do the thing that I wanted. That is the definiteness of purpose. And you, if you haven't read this book or, you know, listened to the audio book, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, I recommend that you get your hands on it. Now, I want to hear your feedback. I want to hear what you think about that. And I wonder, um, I'd love to hear if you have your own definiteness of purpose. It doesn't matter if it's not even come to fruition yet, because that's really what it all starts from is an idea. So if you'd like, come join us in the uh, Podcasting Central Facebook group. Just type in Podcasting Central. No barriers to entry. Love to see you in there. And uh, as always, we're looking for um, people to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So just drop over to YouTube if you wouldn't mind and type in My Future Business and like and subscribe to the channel. So again, come on over to the Podcasting Central group. Share your thoughts on this topic today. And up until tomorrow, I'll speak to you then.